What if I were to tell you there's a debug tool that can potentially double your FPS with just a few clicks? That's right, this is the Windows 10 debug tool and it can do literally just that. And I'm going to try and explain all of it in this video today. So if it does help out, feel free to drop a like on the vid and subscribe for more. Alright, so firstly, to be safe, what we're going to do is set up a system restore point by going on the main menu at the bottom left and typing in restore like so. And you'll see create a restore point. Inside system protection, you can scroll down and select the drive of your choice. I'm going to be using my C drive. And in here, you can literally create a restore point. And I'm going to call this the bloat tool and the purpose of doing this guys is in case anything messes up on your system because this the bloat tool can basically remove lots of um, bloatware and in case you remove the wrong thing which can happen accidentally or maybe you don't understand the setting if that happens and anything messes up on your system you can refer back to this menu here go into system restore then click next and you will see your restore point right there and it'll actually revert back to before you made any sort of changes with that the bloat tool so in case you need that, I thought I'd put it at the start of this video. Moving on, before we set up the debloat tool, there's a couple of things we need to do. The first thing is clear our cache files. You can do this by pressing the Windows key and R. Inside the run box, you want to type in temp, like so. And if you press OK, this will open up all your temporary files. And you can go ahead and delete all of these. I like to press Ctrl A to select all of them then hit the delete key. You'll probably have a lot more than me as I do this quite frequently. You may get this pop-up here. All you want to do is click do this for all current items and then click skip. After that you can see it deletes a lot of them but it won't delete all of them and that's absolutely fine. It's just deleting the ones that it can. So you can cross it out of there. And what we're going to do next is do a disk cleanup. Now I like to go on the start menu right here and type in disk clean. Up and you'll see the tool right there. It'll ask which drive you want to clean up. I always select my C drive with my Windows operating system on it. I then like to click on this button right here with the shield called Clean Up System Files to allow more customization. And as you can see, we get way more options or tick boxes rather of things we can go ahead and clean up to free up more disk space. You can see I could potentially get 14 gigabytes of free disk space, which is really good. For the Windows Update one, um, I would only check this one if you aren't planning on reverse in your Windows update. I myself am happy with my current Windows version so I don't want to revert it but if you do I would not recommend ticking this one but I myself do. Microsoft Defender Antivirus I tick that one. Same with the Windows upgrade files I like to tick that one as well. Uh, downloaded program files I tick that one. The internet files I don't. I like to keep that unchecked in my personal opinion. You should also do this for yourselves guys. Just read each one and see if it's worth ticking for yourselves. Um, all of these I like to tick. That's the uh, direct X shader cache, uh, delivery optimization files, device driver packages, language resource files, even though it, it really doesn't do much, I like to tick it anyway. Recycle bin, that's a big one. If you tick none of them, be sure to tick this one, you'll save a ton. Temporary files, even though we've just sort of cleared them up, it's good to tick it again. Thumbnails, I also like to tick. And then user file history, I like to tick as well. And then after that, if you go ahead and press OK, it'll pop up with a confirmation saying, do you want to permanently delete these files? And I myself, I do. Be sure to check on your end if you do. And just like that, it'll clear up a ton of disk space for you. Another thing I like to do is disable background app applications. If you open up your Windows settings, then go to the privacy option, which is at the bottom right corner. If you scroll down on the left hand side to you see background apps in here by default, you'll notice that it is enabled, which enables all of these to run in the background and it's just completely unnecessary. So what we're going to do is press that off button and boom, they are all disabled like that. Moving on from that, we can now set up the Windows debug tool. To get it, you want to head over to Windows and type in Windows 10 d bloater or d bloat tool will work just search it and then the first one the github link by synex this will appear right here this is the one you want to use you can see here this is windows 10 d bloater and to actually download it you want to click on this code button that's green it'll be a little drop down and you want to click on download zip inside the zip file you'll find this folder just open that up and then what you want to do is you want to find the windows 10 d bloater gui.ps1 and you want to right click on that and click 
like run with PowerShell. And once you've opened it, some code will run in the PowerShell and then you'll be greeted with the Windows 10 Debloater tool. Now instead of going from top to bottom, I recommend going from bottom to top, but starting off at where it says Cortana. Now if you don't know what Cortana is, it's that sort of like little search box that's on the Windows uh, taskbar. This right here gives you the option to disable it and I always click disable on that one and you can see it disables it instantly which is fantastic and um, with edge pdf i don't use the edge browser so i always disable that one as well i much prefer using chrome myself and for the dark theme i always like to enable that one even though i've already got it set up and um, from my own customizations that i did in this video on screen but if you want the dark theme easily you can go ahead and enable it right there moving on from that we've got some other changes slash fixes a uh, onedrive i myself i don't use it so i've got no sort of use from it so i, I like to go ahead and uninstall that one right there if you use onedrive you do not want to do this by the way moving on from that you can unpin the tiles from the start menu and if you don't know what these are these are the tiles right here i myself i actually find them quite useful so i like to keep them but that's up to you next we've got disabled telemetry tasks if you don't know what telemetry is it's the automatic process that involves data collection from your pc that gets transmitted to microsoft so basically if you click this disable telemetry tasks which i like to do this essentially stops the tracking services in windows and you can see after some code right here it gets disabled like so moving on from that we've got remove the dbloat reg keys now this is a setting that's quite advanced that i don't like to touch same with the install .NET v3.5 i've never really touched these settings and i don't know if i'd recommend you guys do it either but if you do and you want to test it you can always revert back using the restore point i mentioned at the start of the video you can also go up top here and revert the registry changes as well and then at the very top here you can make a customized block list where you can go through all the apps and block those but i'll leave that up to you guys to do your own research on each one same with the removal of bloatware if you click this it'll remove all the bloatware so do it at your own risk and finally you can click the remove bloatware with the custom block list and this is where you can customize a block list in this setting right here if you click this it'll basically remove all the stuff that you selected in the block list but that right there has been the windows 10 d bloater tool Feel free to try it out use the custom settings that i used in this video and you may be surprised with how much fps you actually gain i'll leave a link to it in the description of this video also remember that if you do mess anything up you can simply revert it using the restore point i mentioned at the beginning of this video hope the video helped out if it did feel free to drop a like on it subscribe to the channel and use my code in the item shop to support me directly i'll catch you all in the next one and be sure to check out these two helpful videos on screen right now